Well, we had to uh, go down and evacuate four people from a house down here on Linden Road. Uh, fire department from Croftstown Fire, as well as the sheriff's office went down there and we were able to bring four people out of the residence onto the safe ground. The water just keeps coming up fast and faster, so we have another house we have to go evacuate. I believe it's Anderson Road. I'm not exactly positive the road, but we're going to go on the other side with Croftstown Fire and do the same thing there. So did they just they just got caught? I mean, they didn't realize it was coming up as fast as it did. Right. They they exact words. They've never seen the water come up like this so quickly, and it just caught them off guard. And luckily, we were able to bring them out safe, and and everyone got to safe grounds. There's still the father that stayed at the house and is going to stay there and ride it out. We'll talk about rescue number two then. Well, rescue number two, we had uh, four people and three dogs and that. We had to travel through some water first because we needed to provide transportation for the people on the way out. And it actually worked well. Once we got down there, it was kind of hazardous at first, but following the, the boat and the fire department out was was much easier the second time. Yeah. So did you have to get right up to the, literally take the boat right up to the door? Of we the got the or? boat right on the driveway of the residence, of both of them. Yeah. It was, it's something I've never done before and absolutely incredible and greatly appreciate Prophetstown Police, Prophetstown Fire, the, the city people in Prophetstown, everyone yeah. worked well together and greatly appreciate it. Got no on. one was hurt and we got everybody out of their house. Yeah. So tell me about, I don't know, the last, 12 hours or 18 hours, whatever it was? Um, it just came up really fast. We were gonna try and wait it out and it just kept coming up and it started coming in our basements and our breezeway. And it was time to get out. So what time, like, did you get, I mean? Well, we were up at like six o'clock and it was pretty bad then, the ice. We actually came through this road about 10.30 and then we barely made it back. And by that time it was already way way high the, the river here i mean have you ever seen this kind of flooding around here no in all my years here i've never seen it and talking with the people that we rescued they have never seen it however a couple of the firemen said one other time they remember it being this high but i've never seen it like this and it's came up since 9 30 this morning and like in a half hour that's why these people were stranded in their houses yeah and obviously for the, you know, I guess you have to tell people about driving through the water and not to do it. Yeah, I, uh, I drove through some water today because I had to and it was probably one of the scariest things I ever had to do because the current pulls you in, you can't see the roadway and it, it's just a dangerous situation. Right. So we always tell you avoid the water and I'm, I'm telling you right now, avoid any water on the roadway because you just don't know.